What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to modify our walls. So in this exercise, we are going to create a wall type and then after that, we are going to replace the exterior walls with the new type that we will be creating. So in this example, so what I'm gonna do, you see these two walls here, the two exterior wall, this one and then this one here. So this is the two exterior wall that we are gonna change after we create our new type of wall. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna select this wall here, hold control, and then I'm gonna select this wall. And then after that, I'm gonna select your selection box. Okay, so I'll just click that one to show the 3D view. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So we are gonna change this one. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to select again the floor plan. So maybe I select your tile view so we can also see the 3D view. Okay, <clears throat> like that. So here's our 3D view and then here's our uh, floor plan. Okay, so let's create a new type of wall. So to do that from the architecture, I'm going to select here architectural wall. Click that one. And then we will be using here a generic uh, wall or basic wall and then we are going to modify that so let's say for example I want to modify the exterior EIFS on metal stud so I'm gonna select this one and then after that I'm going to select here edit type to modify it so let's click this one and then let's duplicate okay so I want to create a new type of wall using this as my baseline okay so for this I will just call it uh, exterior insulation so insulation on masonry all right and then after that I'm going to select here okay so right after I duplicate that one and then change the name so let us now modify the wall by going to the structure let's click this one and then after that by the way, um, you can select here the preview so that you'll be able to see the preview of the wall that you are trying to uh, create. Okay, so you can change this to section. So this is a floor plan. So let's go to the section if you want to take a look. And then you will notice here as you select here the layer of your uh, wall. So you can see it highlights on our uh, preview. So for this one, we don't need a thermal air layer for this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this thermal air layer uh, function. So I'm going to select that and I don't need that one. So I'm going to delete this. And as well as the membrane layer. Okay, so I'll select that one and I don't need this one. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do on my uh, layer one, which is the finish one for... I'm going to modify here the material. So I'm going to select this ellipsis button to open up the material browser. Okay, and then after that, for this material, so what I want to do is I want to change the surface pattern. So as you can see, the pattern here on the uh, graphics tab, the pattern here is none. So I'm going to click that. And then what I want to do is I want to change this to sand. So I'll go to search and then I'll type sand. So I will use the sand uh, surface pattern here and then I'll select here. Okay. There you go. Okay. And then after that, so let's go to the appearance. So let's go to the appearance. And then this is now... The pattern of that so this is the concrete color so if I go to the graphics so I'm just gonna select here I uh, use render appearance okay and then after that let's just select here okay now for the thickness the default here is three inches so let me just make this uh, four inches <clears throat> okay and then for the structure on our layer 4 so I want to change here the uh, material as well let me just quickly modify this I click that and then I'm gonna change that to uh, masonry okay so masonry 
CMU, concrete masonry units. So let's select this one. And then after that, again, I'm going to use here, use render appearance. And then I'll just select here, okay. And for the thickness, so I'm just gonna make this, let's say um, seven inches. Okay, so seven inches. And then after that, I'll just select here, okay. There you go. And then after that, let's select here, okay. So we just created our new wall type. That's it. And then after that, I'll select here, modify to terminate the wall. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is, like what I have said, we're going to apply that to this wall here, to this exterior wall. So let's select that one. And then I'm going to select this wall as well by holding control. Okay, and then after that, from the type selector, from the properties, let's now look for the wall that we just created, which is this one. Exterior, insulation, ma on mason, uh, masonry. Just click that one. And then that's it. And then just click outside. So you just created now a new wall type and replace that one. Okay, so this is now how it looks like. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do here is let me just uh, quickly modify my uh, curtain wall here because as you can see, it's kind of inside the wall. So from the floor plan, this is the one here. So I'm going to use a line tool. So let's see. Okay, so let me use an align tool. Let's go to the modify. And then after that, let's select your align. Click that one. And then let's select this line here and then let's align that one. Okay, the curtain wall just to tidy up and there you go. Okay, then after that, let's select your modify. Now, if you want to see here the, the pattern okay, up your wall here, because as you can see, it's just plain white. Okay, so you can modify it by going, uh, do not modify the wall, but just modify the properties of the view by going to the view control bar and then look for the detail level. So currently it's coarse, just click that one and then let's change that to medium. Okay, just click that and there you go. Okay, so as you can see, there's now the layer of your wall. Okay, so basically, that's how you create a new wall type from an existing wall type and then apply that to your wall. So for the rest of the exercise, so you can do the same process if you want to change the other wall type of this uh, building. Or if you want, you can uh, create a wall using this one. Instead of changing the property, you can just create a new wall. Okay, all right. So that's it for this uh quick video so if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day